Hello and welcome to Swinging Steve's Bargain Bay Reviews. Let me just straighten her up a little bit there. Looks like I'm falling off the edge of a cliff or something. Oh. Um, I'm going to start with a shout out today. I don't usually do shout outs. Sometimes I do shout outs, sometimes I don't. This one's going to go out to The Morning Yorkshireman. Um, I've been following his channel now for quite a while, but he did, uh, he did add another channel. He had something called The Cruel Wall, which was absolutely hilarious. It was all Formula One based. Um, but now he's doing something where it basically just talks about general discussions, dis different topics, and, yeah, and, and what he's doing is like a love and hate sort of thing now. So it's five things that he really hates about music, five things he don't like, or uh, he likes. Uh, five things you don't like about going out or whatever fact this that and the other there's been loads of different topics but he's well checking out um so yeah and he's a local lad as well from doncaster rotherham area i think so uh, even i used to live in rotherham but now i live in uh, rail so i'm west yorkshire not south yorkshire anymore but anyway yeah big shout out to you buddy and uh, yeah good luck with the channel and everything i'll keep watching your videos i'll, I'll keep i've got your little bell clicked so yeah, anyway, enough of that. Let's get on with the beer. This is what you've come to watch. So today, uh, another one. On the, remember the box set I got out the other day or whatever it were when I got out my selection of beers? Might have been yesterday, the day before. Uh, this one is from the Tesco's. And this came in the two packets of four, or the two four packs for £9. And there was a Northern Monk uh, in one of them. And the Northern Monk... Uh, New World Pale, or whatever it is, or New World IPA, which is an old beer of theirs. I didn't realise it was one of their original beers, I think, um, when the brewery first started. That was really good. And this one's Jamestown by Thornbridge. Lovely can, lovely artwork on there, lovely sort of ornate, um, Art Nouveau-esque sort of artwork, shall we say. And this is 5.9% um, a New England IPA. £1.12 a can. £1.12 a can. It's a 3.30, but £1.12 for a new, new England IPA. Here we go. What does she smell like? Quite light. I'm getting a slight zazz that you get from the New England IPAs. I'm getting a little bit of pineapple-y. Oh, it's coming through a bit more now. A little bit of pineapple, some sort of stone fruits. Yeah, mango coming through now. Oh, God, yeah, it actually smells lovely now. Right, let's pour her in. Let's pour in. This is what she looks like. So, yeah, as you would expect, a nice pale colour. So, New England IPAs, generally, they'll be, it'll be unfiltered. Maybe even can conditioned, I'm not sure. Oh, God, that smells so good. That smells beautiful. Fresh, fresh, fresh. So inviting. Um... Almost like a lemony colour. We've got about three fingers with a, a, a white frothy head there. What which you would expect. Yeah. Um, that, that almost like icing sugary sort of. Should I say? Oh god, yeah, just really spiky. The best way to describe it is like spiky um, tropical fruits, pineapple, mango. A little bit of pink grapefruit just behind that. Oh, God, it smells good. Bit of pink, pink grapefruit coming through a bit more prominently, actually. Oh, yes. Here we go. Wow. That's beautiful. Oh, I don't know if it's because I really need a drink. Right. This channel is designed to, it's probably, this channel is, I, I don't know what my target audience is to be honest with you. I've got good ideas, people that just like beer. Um, probably a lot of them are just my mates, or probably a lot of them are students from school, just so they can laugh at me. Um, but, if you are, I, I, I've got a feeling a lot of my target audience might be students, because it's a bargain beer channel. I might be completely wrong, it's probably not actually. But if it is, and you're a student, you haven't got a lot of money. Get your send down and buy some of these. It is fabulous. It's five point nine percent, so it's not going to take you long before it starts um, sending you tipsy. Not that I would advise you do that, of course. Um, it's it's got all the character of a New England IPA. Now, um, as I get down this, there may be some negatives because it's a one pound twelve can. So I might be thinking, oh, actually, it's not as good as uh, what I would expect from a really good craft beer. But it's not happening yet. 
Okay, maybe. Maybe it's a little bit thinner, but it's got a gorgeous mouthfeel regardless. Really well balanced. It's got a really, it's got sweetness to it. The finish isn't too sharp. A, a well balanced. If if you've never had a New England IPA before, I think this is a good gateway New England IPA. Some people might prefer a more lingering, sharp, uh, citrusy bitterness. I I for one don't actually. I prefer, I would prefer something like this. Um, depends again what mood I'm in. Sometimes I do. I, it's fantastic. It's fabulous that. Fabulous. Oh, it smells divine. It smells beautiful. Dad, if you're watching, I'm going to treat you to some of these. Bloody buying your Marsden pedigrees. Drink some of this. Banks bitter. That's lovely. That's lovely. That, for the price, is getting a 9.8 out of 10. It's not quite a 10 out of 10, because it's slightly thin, and that's been critical. Nine point, that's nearly getting 10 out of 10. I think that's gorgeous. I think that's lovely. And actually, on my tongue, I'm getting a creaminess. I don't know if there's lactose in this. I don't know if there's lactose in it, but going back to what I was saying before, it's you're feeling it on the tongue, and it's got a lovely feel to it. For a £1.12 can of beer we're talking here, you know. Man. Jamestown is a so, is, is soft in body and huge in character. Soft in body, definitely. I expect a, boot, a bouquet of stone fruit and citrus, followed by flavours of papaya and pineapple, on the palate, completely, 100%. They've described exactly what this beer tastes like. Um, what, I, I had a little smirk on my face when it said bouquet of of, of uh, fruits, because I'll never forget reading the Bass beer and what it and, and when Bass described itself as having a bouquet of hoppy flavours, and I was like, all right then, in a, in your in a, in a parallel universe, this is a bouquet of hoppy flavours. It's absolutely gorgeous. So the hops that are used, Galaxy, Nelson, Salvin, Citra, Mosaic. <laughs> Galaxy and Nelson, Salvin are my favourite hops anyway. And actually Mosaic and Citra, they're all fantastic hops. That this Maybe this is why I like this beer so much, because I've got all my favourite hops in it. You know, um, is there another hop that I would put above any of them? Probably not. Probably not, actually. There's a lot of lovely ops out there. It says on here, yeah, uh, on the taste, papaya, pineapple, on the nose, stone fruit, citrus, tangy peach, pecan salad. Mm, yeah. that, that would probably go with it. I'm going to finish it just to see if I've been a bit too trigger happy with my um marks that that's gorgeous i'm telling you now i'm, I'm telling you now look at the lacing on the glass still proper quality if you're watching morning yorkshireman try some of that try get your gob on some of that that is absolutely fantastic that's the that's the that's the stuff that um, okay, so there is a little bit of a sharpener. I mean, yeah, there's a little bit of a dry sharpness, I suppose, on the back. Not much, though. Not much. Perfect. Absolutely brilliant. Let me know what you think. Have you reviewed this beer? If you have, let me know what you think. I think that's fantastic. Right, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.